And I met these Americans who were interested in buying a piece of land because big and cheap. They have never been here. They bought it out of the top of their mind. They bought it, they didn't know what to do with it. And they told me, can you help us? And I said, as a sideline, I will help you. But what happened? I was going to get married. And my girlfriend, my fiance, died when she went, the airplane, she was going to buy her wedding dress and the airplane uh, crashed and she died. 45 days before we were going to get married. I was totally destroyed. I said, my God, you know, she was my girlfriend from age 13. It suddenly disappeared. So for the first month, I was, and then I came to this area again. I drove to it and I said, you know, I gotta have a purpose in life. I fell in love with the area and I start coming and making sacrifices that I would never do if that not have not happened probably. Because I came from a you know, middle class family, uh, they live, left, I was living well. I didn't need to come and kill mosquitoes. Mm. I spent seven years without collecting a salary because the company didn't have money to pay me. So I had a disco in Santo Domingo, I have a restaurant, I represent, I still represent Bell Helicopters, Beecher, I have to do a little bit of everything to survive. Because by that time I got married again, I, I got married, I got three kids, so I have to face reality. And I, uh, I always have a firm conviction that this was going to be a success. It took me a lot of time. I started feeling comfortable. I began in 1970. And I started feeling comfortable in 1992. Right. Which was when the airport started making yeah. little money and the hotel started making little money. But I never gave up. My family got together and told me, you're losing your best years. And I'm fortunately, I got because I didn't get paid, I got it in shares. Now that shares have worth a lot of money. Thousands of times more than what I was going to get paid. But again, vision, perseverance, and hard work. And to me, those are the three key words in life. Life experience. When you're in a place, you start understanding the place, you get to the feeling. I travel a lot, of course, at the back of the airplane, the last seat, the cheapest one, looking at what they were doing in other places and learning from them and adapting them to the Dominican Republic. Because one of the problems we have is that we try to copy those places and, it fails, yeah. and which are not sustainable in another area. So that's one of the, even in the Dominican Republic, one of the problems is that many areas want to do another Punta Cana. Punta Cana is Punta Cana. Best planning is made by you because you know what you have and you know what it's served for. Of course, a lot has to do with knowing the place. Now, of course, I have, after 53 years, I can go to a place I, in a very short time, I. I got the feeling of what can be done. What you really want. Exactly. Let me tell you one thing I learned. At the beginning, I didn't have a penny. My nose, yes. I, that was the key thing. I cannot afford, I couldn't afford to pay anybody to do any study. Yes. So I have to go on instinct, but practical instinct. I always kept my feet on the ground. I never go banana. I'm going to give you a story. At the airport, we have done 27 times uh, modification. I began with 360 meters terminal. We got 120,000 square meters now of construction there. Okay? Now I do every five years. There's a company in London that does come 
and they they gave me their their survey of the airport. But so what of what they that. tell me and what I do, probably I do fifty percent of what they tell me. Not because they don't know. It's because over here, I'm very practical. I know what can be done financially possible. Not what you like, but what is financially possible. And I think that I have been very part of the success of this.